Hello and welcome. This is the Melted Jedi, and today we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up your own Star Rupture server. So once you go to gportal.com, you will just go down here to the new games, or you can search up uh, servers under the rent a server over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just uh, show you how to search it up real quick. There will be a search bar down here. We'll just type in star rupture and it will come up here. Click on order now. You do have different options that you can choose from and also rental times as well. 30 days for slots, $7 per 30 days, 90 days for four slots, $18.90 per 90 days and 180 days for four slots, 35.70 per four. So you can see how much you can save by going for the longer rental purchase here. What you wanna do next is uh, pick yourself a server and click on the little drop down that says choose server location. Find yourself a green ping that's closest to you and that's gonna get you the best server location. Go ahead and click on order now. And if you don't have a G portal account, you can go ahead and create one. Make sure you're logged into your G portal account. If you don't create a G portal account, it's easy and quick to do. And then you have your different payment options, PayPal, credit card, pay, save card, WeChat pay or pay, um, pay with a balance. If you actually have balance loaded on to your account. Okay. So if you don't have a login for G portal, go ahead and go ahead and create one and register with a bunch of different options here, or you can uh, create one with email and just fill that out there. It's super quick and easy to do. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and check the little options and I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and we'll just go ahead and purchase the server real quick. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. The last step is to purchase your server. You can use PayPal, using a credit card on PayPal, direct credit card, pay save card, WeChat pay, or if you have balance on your account, you can go ahead and purchase it with your balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the server and I will be right back and we'll take a look at how to set up the server itself. Okay, so it takes a moment to load and start setting up your server instance for you. Now I'm into the uh, administration control panel here. Um, on your main status page, you're gonna see the game server load. This will show the CPU and the RAM uh, as it's, when it's booted up. Currently it's stopped up here. This is where you can restart in the top right um, on the left. And then you can also see your IP address if you reveal that there, how many players you have, how many slots you have. We can see we have four here. And then down at the bottom, you have access data. So FTP data or IP query port or uh, Archon port is down here under this. You can click on this little eyeball to reveal those. And you can also get instructions for FTP. You can also reset the password for FTP down here. What we're going to do now is go over to basic settings. And then now we can start creating our session. So create a new session. Session name, I'm gonna call it the Melted Jedi. Interval in seconds between auto saves. So every 300 seconds, it's gonna do an auto save in the game. We're gonna give this a super duper password. And a join password. Super duper. Here, go ahead and click on save on that. All right. So we've got our session name, save game interval, our server password, and our join password. And these are all temporary. I will change these after this video. So don't worry about that. On the left, we also have a file manager. So you can actually come in here and take a look at the different files. And uh, that may be something you need to do in the future. But for right now, we're just going to ignore that. 
logs. You can check on different logs here. No logs found yet. I haven't started up the server just yet. Uh, restarts over here on the left. You can add a daily restart, weekly or monthly restart schedule. Add a time. Add a description and hit save. 6.30 a.m. daily a.m. restart schedule. Hit save. Then every day it'll have a task to restart that daily. Backups. I would turn on automatic backups. If you want to store your backups automatically with daily restart, please be aware that you have to restart your server daily via the restart schedule. So we're already set up for that. Hit confirm. You're set up for automatic backups. You can create a manual backup here. And you can see your amount of backup storage that's been taken up here. Permissions, you can add a, uh, another G portal user to help you administrate your user, uh, your server. So if you have someone else that you trust to administer your server, type in their G portal name and you can add them as a user here. Also, you've got support, wiki and the discord if you need help. Let's go ahead and start the stop server. While we're waiting on it to start up, we're going to click on the status. It may take a minute or two to see this actually start up. You start to see the RAM load and you start to see the CPU usage go up. That means that servers up and doing things. Not sure how long star rupture servers take to start. It may take a couple minutes, but uh, from what I can tell, it's, it's on its way. Then you just grab your IP address up here. Click on the little copy button. Grab either your server password or your join password. And then you can go over to the game and I'll show you where to fill that in and make sure that we can join into the game. All right, we're launching the star rupture. The whole uh, server creation done is, is, is finished. The whole server creation process is finished. We are ready to go ahead and hit space to start. We're gonna click on showing game, dedicated server. And here's where we'll enter our server address that we copied from the G portal page and the password that we created over on the G portal site. And we're going to hit confirm. Now we're just waiting for the game to load. Look at that. We're into where we can create our character. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, just a couple minutes to get up and going with a star rupture server. And you can join in as a server administrator, or you can give out your regular join password to other friends so they can join in and actually uh, go ahead and join you in the game. All right, guys, that's how quick and easy it is to get up and running in star rupture for your star rupture server so make sure you guys uh like the video if you liked it and go ahead and enjoy your server hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you in the next one